Okay, uh, switch topics with me for a second. Right, the cool. whole world knows you um, and your affiliation with T.I. When did you meet T.I.? Uh, like, it was like 16. So y'all were youngins. You knew T.I. literally. Like right, after, right after I healed up from the shots. <laughs> I was, Do you I remember was, that first meeting? Yeah. Um, I went to these apartments. We we had just got like our Section Eight voucher, and um, I, I moved. We moved to some apartments in Riverdale in Clayco, uh, called Rens Crossing. Um, um, it would it would be another guy that like like my brother, his name Ben. It was me, him, and Tip. But when I seen Tip. It was you know we wasn't from there. You know what I'm saying? We were some West Side niggas, and when I saw him, I was like. Oh, somebody over here speak my language like because people <laughs> over from over there they were a little bit more slower than you know we was from the city you know what I'm saying so our our sex was bigger you know we sold drugs and I was like man my, our, our drugs go for 20s out here you know what I'm saying so it was different you know and the J's was like oh boy so when they when the J's seen us selling that it was different. Like we had the clout. Like our bags of weed was different. Like we was some different. You know what I'm saying? It was like, boy, them boys down there got it. But we was just from a side of town that it was mediocre at. But over here, it was like we was street kings, dog. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> so when I met Tip, man, Tip was a real, real drug dealer. Like he was making beats in the room. He had this piano. You know what I'm saying? He had the six by nine speaker and, you know, the piano would be right here. The six, nine, six by nine speaker would sit on top of the piano and the window was right there. And he would serve out the window with the dope in the speaker. You know what I'm saying? And I'll be sitting over there. I'll just be rapping to some of the stuff he got going on. And, you know, I'm already shot up at this point. You feel me? I didn't see uh -huh. the streets and, you know what I'm saying? So now we just, he was like, you know, he was like, man, kick that. And I had I had this special rhyme that I used to kick. What well, the one that I used to let everybody know I could flow with. You know what I'm saying? And Do he you was, remember the rhyme? I think not not too tough. I know it was it was something called uh, it's hard to remember. But um, Tip actually remembered it better than I did because he used to come knock on the door. He might have KT C Rod doing it. He come knock on the door. Cook, cook, cook. I open the door. Hey, bro, kick that motherfucker you kicked for me the other day. You know, when you, I used to be like, Tip, won't me say that motherfucker every week, man. You feel <laughs> me? So I remember, I remember like and Tip had his one too that he used to kick. You know what I'm saying? And I was like, man, Tip was like, man, one day, bro. You know what I'm saying? And I actually, I actually started rapping first. Like I was on the radio first and all that. Yeah. Yeah. It kind of worked out, you know. So when it, when I uh, he didn't know it was me, he had heard it. He was like, "Damn!" And so he was at the radio one day, and uh, I called up there, and they was playing the song. So they like, "Yeah, man, got on the boy Dro," because I was the one. I had changed my mm -hmm. name to Dro, you know. And then they was like, "Yeah, the boy Dro." So I called the radio station, and I was like, "Yeah, man, it's Dro." They were like, "Yeah, man, we got Ti in the studio." I'm like, I was like, "Tip." And he was like, yeah. I was like, man, what, what's going on, bro? He was like, who? I was like, man, it won. He was like, you drove? I was like, yeah, <laughs> bro. You know what I'm saying? So it was dope. It was dope. Oh, that's crazy. Yeah. Okay, so Tiff is starting to blow, but it ain't like y'all, because he's doing what he's doing, you doing what you doing. You're not originally signed to him at this point. No, no, no. We was just kids. Oh, wow. Yeah, so we just knew. We knew, like, we wanted to do it, like, whether it was together or, you know what I'm saying, however it be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know and it's saying? so crazy. You said he he got his little uh, keyboard and he's serving out the window and yeah. <laughs> doing his music at the same time. Yeah. We ended up with, man, we got into shootouts together. Uh, Tip was high-headed back then. Like, you, like if, you, if you crossed him and he was a dude, like, we used to get into guys, like, about playing with Tip all the time. Because he really didn't play like, oh boy, who you talking to? And like, he was so much of a good guy. If if we together, or oh, we beating your ass, you know what I'm saying? I mm -hmm. and, and that's mm -hmm. all top, you know what I'm saying? It was real cool, real cool, crazy.